Hi, I'm going to solve a constant angular acceleration rotational kinematics problem. The physical situation is that we have a, a spinning merry-go-round and it's initially spinning at an angular velocity of 2 radians per second. And somebody comes along and makes it spin faster and it attains an angular velocity of 3.0 radians per second. And they do so while grabbing the merry-go-round and making it uh, undergo one revolution. And we are going to assume constant angular acceleration. We're going to calculate that. So angular acceleration assumed constant is unknown. And we're also going to calculate the time that it takes somebody to uh, make this merry-go-round speed up. So the time interval, delta t, is also an unknown. OK, so the initial angular velocity and final angular velocity are already in the SI units of radians per second, so we're good with that. Um, the angular displacement is not. Revolutions are not SI units. So let's go ahead and convert that first to the SI units of radians. So one revolution, uh, pretty easy, is 2 pi radians. We want to use a consistent system of units. Typically, we want to use SI as we do in a lot of physics. OK, so next thing to do is track down a uh, constant angular acceleration rotational kinematics equation that includes the initial angular velocity, final angular velocity, and the angular displacement. And the one that does so looks like this. And so the one unknown in that equation is the angular acceleration. So let's do a little bit of algebra. I'm going to skip over a few steps. But what you'll end up with is an angular acceleration that looks like this. And then it's just a matter of plugging in the numbers from the, uh, from the data that we're given. So. Chuck in those numbers, and our calculator spits out an answer of 0 0.40 radians per second squared. All right, so we're halfway there. Solve for the uh, angular acceleration. Now I want to find the time interval. So the time interval, I have lots of options if I look up in the constant angular acceleration kinematics equations. I'm just going to pick one. Um, more or less at random, I'm going to pick this one that relates the time to these three variables. You could choose one that uh, includes the angular acceleration that we are that we calculated, but I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So here's a constant angular acceleration kinematics equation, which involves three knowns plus the unknown time interval. Once again, I'm going to uh, Skip over a few steps of the algebra, solve for the variable of interest. And symbolic solution looks like that. Let's check in the numbers and see what the calculator tells us. So once again, an angular displacement of 2 pi. And then I throw in the initial and final angular velocities. And I, th I throw it in my calculator, and it tells me that it is 2.5 seconds. OK, so I've used the constant accel angular acceleration kinematics equations, uh, along with some uh, given data, to calculate the angular acceleration and the time interval. Um, and this is a lot like the uh, linear kinematics equations, 1D or 2D, where you uh, look for three knowns, uh, find an equation with the three knowns along with the, um, the unknown that you're trying to calculate. And you just do your algebra, plug in the numbers, and you're done. So very similar tactic. Okay, thanks for watching.